Well, defense attorneys say they are not giving up their push to disqualify Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis and Special Prosecutor Nathan Wade from prosecuting former President Donald Trump and others in the election interference case. 11 Alive's Molly Oak is looking at if testimony could influence a decision and what comes next in this case. I do not know when the relationship started. Credibility issues with the witness. That's what former DeKalb District Attorney Robert James says was a big takeaway from court. The defense took turns, you know, and I'll use a legal term of art, beating up on him, right? <laughs> and, and they did. They beat up on him. And there was a lot of, I don't remember, as I don't recall. But here's what we have to keep in perspective. He is not the DA's office witness, right? He's not the state's witness. He is the defendant's witness. They put him up, presumably to affirmatively prove that you know, that this uh, relationship or affair began before they said it began. And, you know, he never acknowledged that. He is Terrence Bradley, a former law partner and divorce attorney for Nathan Wade. But at the end of the day, James says it's not the relationship timeline that's the focus. It's if there was financial gain. Look, sex sales, right? It's interesting. Everybody wants to talk about it. It's controversial. But at the end of the day, the judge, you know, his job is to be objective and he's not caught up in who's, you know, involved in a relationship with who, you know, unless it proves financial benefit or financial gain on the part of the DA. And that's the ultimate question. Another question, what happens next? He is going to have to make a decision, he being the judge, whether or not there is evidence in this case that the DA financially benefited from her relationship with Nathan Wade. And if that were to happen, it would impact the current prosecution of former President Donald Trump. If that's the case and he excludes um, the DA from the case, then her entire staff is excluded from the case. And so the case has to move from Fulton County to another DA's office in, in another county. A special prosecutor has to be appointed. And essentially, we start all over. And that was Molly Oak reporting. So lawyers for the state and the defense will make their final arguments at a hearing scheduled for Friday.